guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you a little bit about the M111 2.5 turbo build. Now, obviously, that's taken a little while to get off the ground, and I thank you all for being patient. Obviously, I've overcomplicated things a little bit by deciding to go down the 2.5 stroker route, but um, in good time, it'll all be worth it. I apologise if the video quality is shaky, but this thing has just crapped out on me, so that's awesome. Anyway, what I was saying is on the M111 engines we've got this bung here, this bung here and this bung here and there's also one on the other side. Now the bungs I intend to use if I remember right are this one and this one. I'm going to take a 10AN fitting off of them and they will go to this which is the remote oil filter housing. So in here is a thermostat so I'll be able to have a thermostatically controlled oil cooler so it actually functions as it should and then obviously the top two ports are the feed and return from the filter and it runs through this um, I can't remember what brand this is obviously the, the, the this kit is just cheap eBay but this this part wasn't that cheap I actually bought this for the Saab B204 build I've got a load of fittings in here, uh, some are junk and some are actually good fittings, so I'm probably going to go with black ones to make it look a bit nicer. Um, I'm also going to get a oil cooler, I have got a large oil cooler but it's just a little bit overkill for what I need. Hi right guys, so thanks again for watching, I appreciate you guys sticking around, the channel's been doing great, the subscribe count's going up and up and up every day really appreciate that and thank you to those of you being patient sticking around waiting for the m111 build to begin so we're obviously going to get started this way once i've got those rod bearings it will go together pretty quick obviously there's other ways to do this one way is get the front cover with the inlet and outlet port for the oil cooler but so far i haven't found it and I believe it is only on the vans, but I'm not entirely sure there could be M111 engines in cars that are designed for hotter climates that may have them. But over here, I've not had much luck trying to find one in the UK. The other option is the stern garage kit that replaces, I believe it's the cap on the oil filter housing. And that basically has a couple of outlets on it that you can plumb an oil cooler into. It's a simple and clean kit but it is expensive and uh, I'm trying to do things on the tightest shoestring budget that I can hence it's obviously taking longer to be able to spare the money for the rod bearings and the main bearings but once I have them the engine will go together pretty quick uh, the longest part will be wiring it in with the ECU, the off gear um, all the transmission control stuff but that's just a quick update for now so you guys know what's coming up next and I hope this has helped you understand why things are taking so long. Uh, but thanks again for sticking around. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate it. Views are doing great. Thanks again, guys. I'm enjoying helping you all. See you in the next one. <laughs>